What's going on YouTube? Quick video, not so quick maybe. Early in the morning, subscribe and hear the question. I got time to answer it, jump in the truck like Creek and uh, answer your question. Now, this is probably gonna be my last video sitting at the house. Um, gonna clean my truck out, get it ready to get back on the road and uh, probably leave out tonight or tomorrow morning and uh, make a delivery for Monday morning. Fed, it's just hot around here, y'all. They're making all kinds of money. Subscribe and want to know why would you want to get your own truck or your own trailer or why would you want to lease or why would you want to pay the, the company truck note or whatever the case may be? Why would you want to do anything besides be a company driver? Okay, good question. I'm going to try to answer it. Maybe I may sense, maybe I won't. So I'm looking at a sheet right now. Hopefully y'all can see the same sheet. We're going to take a look at it now. We are going to take a look at it. Let's say I had my own truck and trailer and my own authority, okay? And I had, I was working with a broker. Check this out. Let's say I start up in, uh, let me see. Let's say we start in, <laughs> give me a second. Scroll through here. Okay, boom, here we go. Let's say we start in Washington. And I pick up a load of apples or pears. And let's say I take it to, let's say we go to Dallas, Dallas, Texas. So Washington to Dallas. Okay. Right now it is going for 4,600. That's the lowest is going for 4,800 is the highest. So people are negotiating between 4,600 and 4,800. Okay. So let's say we get the load for 4600 Got my calculator. $4,600, okay? Then when we get to Dallas, let's just say that trip is three days. When we get to Dallas, we go we go down to uh, Laredo, Texas. We, I just did hit it, okay? Then from Laredo... Let's say we pick up a load of tomatoes, carrots, broccoli, lemons, limes, whatever you pick in that list, you take it and you go up to, what's paying the most? Boston, there it is. You take it to the market up in Boston. Uh, Where's Seattle? Shit, is Seattle? Seattle, is that back towards Washington? I don't know. Let's just say... <laughs> Cause I don't really know what Seattle is. I can't. I got a brain fart right now. But uh, you down in Laredo, Texas, the Mexican Crossing. That's Laredo, Texas. You pick up a load of whatever's in that category. Take it up to Boston. Like I said, loads. The minimum is going for is forty five. The highest they negotiating is forty eight. Now you see where it says five thousand. That's the highest the brokers are getting. So uh, maybe you get a broker two hundred dollars. That's how you get 48, but you take that load, that's what, three days, so uh, now you got, let's say you get it for the lowest 4,500. Okay, so in six days of work, we didn't gross $9,100, okay? Um, let's just say your trail is paid for, because uh, I, don't, I don't really know what people are paying for trailers uh, we just gonna say it's paid for but let's say you got the quality truck note so truck note 695 you're down eight thousand four hundred and five dollars okay then you got insurance we just gonna knock off the 405 you're down to eight thousand after that only thing you're paying for is fuel uh, cross country run like that, 3,000 miles. We're just gonna say that's a thousand dollars for fuel. You, you have seven thousand dollars net, okay? Then from that seven thousand dollars net, you can take off whatever you want to take off. I know, uh, I look, all the y'all are different. One of y'all gonna talk about this tire fund, somebody gonna take talk about the maintenance, somebody gonna be talking about the, the mirror fund or the windshield wiper fund. 
of the oil change. Like, all y'all different. Y'all got to take whatever y'all want to take out of this 7000 from now. Uh, me, that would have been 7000 in my pocket. <laughs> uh, hell, if you want, that, that, the first week you do this, you take that $7,000, you put that whole thing in your maintenance fund. That's what you do. Then the rest of the week, a month, you ain't got to worry about that crap. Okay? And then, well, what did we stop at? Boston? What we got coming out of from the Northeast? Hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, Maine. That's too short of a run. New York. Okay, let's say you go up to New York. You pick up some apples out of New York. Bring that, 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 that this is the second week now. We on a new week. You up in New York. Well, you was up in Boston. You gonna dead head to New York, pick up some apples. You pick up a load of apples. Take it down to Miami. That's loads are going for 4,500. Okay, if I read that, am I reading that right? No, I'm not reading that right. My fault. Um, Lows are going for 2,800. What the hell did I see? 4,500. What was I looking at? Okay, I was looking at Nebraska. Okay. Take a load of apples from New York. Take that down to Miami. 2,800. When you get down to Miami, what's coming out of Florida? Okay, I see South Florida right here. You can uh, take a load of tomatoes or berries back up to Boston for three thousand. That's fifty eight hundred dollars. All you did was freaking. You went from New York to Miami, back up to the back up to the market. Okay, um, maybe that's four days of work. Maybe. Um, let me see. Two days, four days, maybe five days at the most. Still leave you two more days here. You might can make a third turn back down towards Miami. But the idea would be to try to go back, to try to get back out west. But y'all get the idea. So why would you want to get your own truck and trailer? It's real simple. You're going to make way more money. Uh, how do you think these guys, when you go to the truck show, how do you think these guys get the money to trick out all these damn trucks. They got the lights, the chrome. How you think they do all this? It's because they know something that you ain't been told. Um, it's, it's just that simple. It's, it's that simple. I mean, the rates that... What, what this list is right here, and I'm not sure if I'm, I'm going to explain this right, but what this list is, this is the government that put out this list, okay? The USDA. This is the list that the shippers are paying to have these loads shipped, okay? That's what this list is. So it's got all the states, not all the states, but it's got the states where the produce is at uh, and how much it's paying. So like, for example, you work at night. I didn't did it. I worked at night. I went up to Washington. I pulled apples all the way down to Florida from freaking Washington so um, let me see how much they, they possibly got from Miami it says a load of apples coming out of Washington and going to freaking Miami uh, $6,800 okay so and what you think how much did, did it cost night let's see they paid for fuel and uh, maybe a, a A service or a B service and that's it truck working absolutely perfect a new truck and not really any maintenance to it so something to think about but like I said comment below it's too cold in here like I'm gonna try to clean this out so the goal is get your own truck and trailer so you can make all this money this is the produce market drive in is different tanker is different heavy haul is different flatbed is different I just got the race for produce. I don't I don't know any other market, so I don't know how to see what else is paying, but that's for y'all to figure out. I'm just I'm, I'm just giving you what I know. I know freaking produce, so um uh, just trying to let y'all know how much money can be made out here. It's really up to y'all to figure out if that's what y'all and then if you're running teams, oh my god, can you 
you imagine if he running teams? I ain't even gonna go through that team crap. <laughs> what if the truck ain't stopping? Oh man, you, that's 9,000 times two. Oh my God. You be making a killer. Let me get back to y'all in this video.